it's never good when you're playing a game and you're just hoping that nobody you know walks into the room to witness the on-screen embarrassment. Oh, sweet maker. Cullen, how's it going? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 awkward video game cutscenes. Wait for me! For this list, we've selected 10 of the most cringeworthy video game cutscenes. There might be spoilers ahead, but in this case, maybe that's for the best, so you don't accidentally stumble upon these scenes yourselves. You must die! Number 10. Life Extending Crystals. R. Tanelico, Melody of Alemia. I can't believe it! This has never happened before! There's probably no better example of shameless sexual innuendo in video games than R. Tanelico, a series of anime-inspired RPGs. We still need to administer the life extending agent or she's doomed. Much of the game's story centers on the Rava Tales an all-female race of genetically engineered robots that can transform sound into energy. I don't care what they are, let's go! Ravatels need to apply special life-extending crystals to themselves through ports on their bodies. You can probably imagine what happens next. Okay then, turn around. Here's a hint. It involves a lot of scenes where the protagonist has to insert crystals into the conveniently placed ports on his female companions. Yikes. This crystal is the life-extending agent? It's so big! Number nine. Cave scene, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. For all of the deserved accolades the Metal Gear Solid series receives from critics, we just gotta make one thing clear. Sometimes the writing can be cringeworthy. Want some? No thanks. But considering that 70% of the games are dialogue, it makes sense that some stinkers would slip through. I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. The combination of weird, sexually charged dialogue, cheesy butterfly imagery, and an even cheesier soft romantic vocal track in the background make the cave interaction between Ava and Snake so awkward. Don't like snakes? Not for dinner. Plus, if you don't remove Snake's transmitter, you get a pretty funny, but uncomfortable, scene while Eva removes it for him. There, a transmitter. Number eight, pole dancing sequences. Dead or Alive Extreme 2. Okay, so let's be real. The Dead or Alive Extreme series as a whole is ludicrously cringeworthy. These tedious exercises in fan service are almost pointless except for giving gamers endless gratuitous shots of their favorite, well-endowed Dead or Alive babes. But if we had to pick one specifically embarrassing scene, then it would have to be the legendary pole dancing sequences. See you gone in these scenes, the characters perform a ridiculously sexualized pole dance wearing whatever tiny bikini your heart desires. Try explaining this to your significant other. Just try it. Number 7. Yuna and Titus Laughing Final Fantasy X Come on, show me! Final Fantasy X is filled with interesting characters and unique settings. Some of the cutscenes are amazing. The first time Sin attacks, it's pretty mind-blowing. But like most JRPGs, there's some really, really awkward stuff as well. Want to scream? Mmm. I really don't think that's gonna help this time. The most famously unwatchable scene is the Titus and Yuna fake laughter scene. Yuna and Titus are in the midst of a budding romance, stuck in a dangerous world where they are the only hope for peace, and all they can do is. <laughs> the sentiment is nice, but the writing is just terrible, and the acting is wooden. You probably shouldn't laugh anymore. It's so odd that you can even see Waka and Lulu giving them the stink eye in the background. <laughs> Number 6. Tali singing Mass Effect 3 Citadel DLC Every time my friends and I had a sleepover, we memorized the lyrics from the musical. The acting in Bioware's flagship Dragon Age and Mass Effect series is usually pretty good, but once in a while we can get some confusing, embarrassing stuff. I'll make sure this stays just between us. We could talk about the stilted sex scenes, but that's too easy. The real culprits are the singing scenes. Works for me. Liliana's song in Dragon Age Inquisition comes to mind, but even worse is Tally's in Mass Effect 3 Citadel. If this was supposed to be extremely corny, then boy did Bioware ever succeed. This scene would have been awkward in a rom-com with normal human characters. But in a video game space opera where one of them is a space alien, it's agonizing. I feel your skin. Number 5. Swim This Way, Kingdom Hearts 2. 
for the most part, Kingdom Hearts does a great job of vibrantly immersing you in some classic Disney settings. Some of these work better than others, however. Atlantica, the setting based on the Little Mermaid property, brings with it a tutorial song, Swim This Way. Don't be shy, let the music inside it. Dance, dance, dance. Unfortunately, the song doesn't nearly match up to the Disney classics, and is actually, well, it's terrible. See the sign, can you reach it in time? Or tap, tap, tap. It seems like nobody can keep a harmony, and it goes on for way too long. Plus, the whole zone is relegated to a quick time event, and that's adding insult to awkwardness. A musical for everyone to have a lot of finny fun. Number four, Welch Vineyard meets Bacchus and Edge. Star Ocean, the last hope. Is there something the matter, Master? Uh. The Star Ocean games as a whole are filled with trite, awkward dialogue and weird sexual innuendo. But there's probably nothing stranger than the meeting between Welch, Bacchus, and Edge. Okay, I'm getting more and more confused here. Beyond the strangeness of Welch dressing up as different, sexy representations of historical time periods to impress Bacchus, there are also weird, incestuous undertones that we'd rather not go into. Oh, now that you mention it... But then again, who the hell thought someone saying, Tra-la-la, I love you, big brother, while wearing underwear and a t-shirt would be a good idea? Number three, the dry humping scenes. Ride to Hell, Retribution. Lots of games, like God of War for example, include sex scenes, but without fail, they're always pretty cringe inducing. But God of War and Dragon Age are all triple A games, so things get even worse when a crappy, small budget, glitchy game like Ride to Hell tries its hand at on-screen intercourse. Okay girls. Who's ready for round two? These are the worst video game sex scenes of all time, bar none. I really don't know. I'm sorry. The cheesy 80s porno soundtrack, the ugly wooden character models, the fact that they remain fully clothed. Ugh, oh, this game is a mess. I was gonna get ugly. You saved us. Number two, Sonic's human girlfriend, Sonic the Hedgehog. Your smile, that's all I need. Seriously, Sega, you really had to go there? The Sonic series, originally one of the landmark 16-bit platformers, has been riddled with an almost endless string of strange decision choices since launching into 3D. I'm afraid our little game ends now. But nothing was more confusing or embarrassing than the bizarre choice to include a classic damsel in distress in 2006's Sonic reboot. It sounds like being a princess isn't that easy. Then things start getting a little romantic and we're left with one of the weirdest scenes in the history of gaming. A kiss between Sonic, an anthropomorphic hedgehog, and a human princess named Elise. It's just ew. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Link, go to Gamelon and find my father. Great! I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos! We're breaking my heart and give Oh, it has to live Tom Stubbs, how do you do? Number one, everything, Resident Evil. What? Oh, oh no! The original release of this storied horror franchise was filled with some of the most hilariously bad cutscenes in the history of gaming. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. The game featured in-game cutscenes, but also some really puzzling live action sequences that look like a shoestring budget B-movie late night horror flick. The dialogue was so crappy that Capcom rewrote all of it in subsequent re-releases of Resident Evil. There are terrible demons. Ouch! At least it spawned some classic hilarious video game memes. But seriously, the cutscenes in this game almost completely ruined the immersion. Here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Do you agree with our list? <laughs> <laughs> Did we forget any awkward video game cutscenes? For more top 10s that are masters of unlocking, published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Definitely.